In part two of the SRAM Force Axis review series, I considered the shifting. During my second ride on Cannondale's new Lab 71 Super 6 Evo, I compare the quality and sounds of the gears as I go up and down the 12-speed cassette. One thing is soon apparent. This is a lot quieter than my recent experience with Shimano's new 12-speed Ultegra group set. This is my second ride. I'm 15k in. It's taken me now until to pull the camera out because I've been going up hills, but now it's time to go downhill. I feel in control. I needed a big stretch of road just to get all those slow-mos and just show what the shifting's like. So I did some where I just pushed um, the upshift, held it down and just let it go, let, let it rip up the 12. Doop, 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 doop. And then I did some others where I did like this. You know what I mean, tap, tap, tap. So, here by the bush, a couple of things. I've got 170 mil cranks. Yep. First ride, I didn't notice because I just got on and I rode and I didn't see the number and I didn't really feel it. Second ride, after some time in the studio, after having spotted 170, not 172.5 like I'd asked, I was suddenly like, man, this feels awkward. And I was pedaling in squares. I'd also had uh, four days off the bike, not deliberately, just circumstance, weather, family commitments. But a bloody nice bike to ride and I'm back on it, even though it's a little bit damp. But it's not the end of the world. More thoughts when I'm not riding. I'm still riding, but I had some thoughts. So I went for a ride very first day on this bike with the SRAM guys. And they had a beautiful location and they gave me a presentation and we talked about the group set later. But after the ride, immediately after the ride, after having first sampled the new force, Michael Zellman from SRAM said to me, so what'd you think? Well, Then I started this long diatribe about wanting to push the levers in just a little bit, and like Remco Evanapool style, loop lap style, like, you know, uh, kids of today style, how they ride. And he was like, yeah, but the shifting, the quiet shifting and the, and the, the sunny and the, 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 the rainbow effect in the sunshine and all of the, the different things, what, and the, the, the feel of the lever, what about them? Well, he didn't say that, but he kind of, logically was sort of implying that I ought to talk about something other than how I've got my hoods positioned on the handlebars. And he was right. So I ought to add that, um, well, I had too much traffic. Go away, Utes. I tried to take a country road so there'd be no traffic. Anyway.
trust me, that's uncomfortable. Anyway, um, aside from the road surface, let's talk about the bike. Um, to be honest, like, I've got a gravel bike with a rival group set on it. I didn't even look. I, I just knew it was SRAM. I didn't even think to look what group set it was, but I've had that bike eight months or so. And um, the lever, quite frankly, well, has similarities to the top of this one, right? If I show you, hang on. I don't know if you saw that, but the bit that I was pointing to, that flat bit, that's kind of like the rival group set. So, um, another appraisal I gave Michael immediately upon returning from my first ride was bloody quiet, and that's what he wanted to hear. He wanted to hear that I couldn't hear anything because that's a big selling point of SRAM. I'd been on a Shimano bike, a Shimano equipped review bike, a La Pierre Zelius, which I loved, right? It was Altegra, car. I had the, the new Altegra, which is, oh, let's take a guess. Oh, I can't remember. R9100 uh, something. R2D2, C3PO, something like that. Anyway, the new Altegra, 12 speed, semi wireless, whatever that means. Like, it's wired. There's wires, so um, take it or leave it. It's a few less wires than there were with the previous. You understand, it's DR2, electronic shifting. Anyway, we waxed the chain and we maintained the drive chain. In other words, when it got a bit dry, we re-waxed the chain. Quiet, 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 I thought. And then I got back on my SRAM bike. Aha, uh -huh. now that was a lot quieter, with oil admittedly, and um, a well, well, well used original force axis ETAP. Yeah, originals when it was still called ETAP. To the top of this hill, more later. Just put that green paint there, lads. Just spill it there. All right, so this uh, group set of Shimano, it was not, it was, yeah, they, they're, they're pushing it as being quiet. And SRAM's come in with the arms race, with the group set race, with the Cola Wars, with the group, you know what I'm talking about. Like, you know, it's not Pepsi versus Coke, it's SRAM versus Shimano. With a little, like, like a, a little play from Italy, from Campagnolo, you know what I'm talking about. Three group set manufacturers, right? All of them got electronic shifting. One of them got wireless, all of them got 12 speed. And one of them has got a flat top chain and I reckon bloody quiet shifting, like really quiet. So I'm gonna cross the chain now, and then I'm gonna pedal with chain in the big ring, I think it's 48, and then chain at the top of the cassette, which I know is a 33. Just to be clear, just to be clear, just to be clear, don't try this at home, kids, all right? Like, I'm doing it because you can. I'm currently down the middle of the cassette. If you can hear that, your hearing is supersonic because it, it's basically, no, there's no sound. If you can hear anything, it's just the birds, the road, the tires on the, on the bitumen and, um, and the wind and my panting. Anyway, let's try that again. Just listen, middle of the cassette, right? Now, I'm doing it because you can, but you shouldn't, all right? Bit awkward because I'm like pedaling at a cadence of about 140. Um, but listen. Okay, like it's, oh, hang on. It's kind of, oh, here we go. <laughs> I was just gonna ease off the pace so that I could not pedal at a ridiculous cadence. And there we go, it was a flattened dead snake. Anyway, no cars that can last, anyway. <laughs> 
Yeah, up the front, there's a little bit of nagging on the front teeth. I'll go down one, okay? Clonk. Oh, that was a bit nice. Because it's a big jump. It goes from a 28 to a 33, so there's a five-tooth jump at the very end of that cassette. I'll just go one by one just for the top bit. This is in the 28. In fact, in the 28, it gave a little bit of a it just wasn't comfortable. I probably could have done with some fine tuning, but I didn't. So I'm too busy concentrating on wet roads and traffic and dead snakes. I can't remember the sequence after 28. I think it drops to a 26. 26. And that's where I'm at now. Can you hear it? No, you can't because it's bloody quiet. And now I'm in the fourth uh, cogget from the top, which I think's a 25. Yeah, probably a 25. I'll check and I'll put the number down here on the screen from just there. And uh, whisper quiet, way quieter than the waxed Shimano 12 speed chain on Altegra R2D2, whatever the f it's called. Two giant sulfur crested black cockatoos. Oh. At long. The traffic has abated and I can just comfortably shift and have a chat. So I've talked about the, the, the hood shape. Let me just do a couple of, like, try and film it while I'm riding. Hopefully I got that. I can't tell. The preview screen's gone. Um, here. I've been through so many different levers over the years, from pre-STI down to shifting levers, which were tiny little things. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Then the Ergo Power uh, from Campagnolo, and then bloody SRAM ETAP and blah, blah, blah. And now I'm a bit sensitive to the old ergonomic design because, uh, well, not so much anymore, but I did have hand surgery, finger surgery on my left hand in October, and I've worn mitts religiously ever since, and I really don't want any strain on my hand. The wound is all healed, but I became pretty conscious of how I held myself. I'm there, and I might just stop and gather my thoughts while I'm at Sublime Point looking at the beautiful Pacific Ocean. Righto. Yeah, I'm going to do the predictable. Bear with me. You'll see it in a sec. Stay tuned. This is weird. I love you and I like you. What's that mean? Um, I won't read any more of those, they're bloody boring. Yeah, it's a gravel group set as well. Anyway, that, that, that was just a bit of a giggle, humour. <laughs> You know me, you know I like um, black cockatoos, high tides, cycling, nice bikes, bushwalking, waterfalls. My family. And um, summer. A few other things, but anyway.
presenting one of the things I like, or two. Nice bike, waterfall, and um, photograph spot, yes. I'll pick a safe spot, maybe where there's a platypus or two. <laughs> and um, see what I can do. I had no idea where I was going to go this morning, but I just knew I wanted to go away from traffic and traffic lights. Nice ride, getting used to the bike. Shorter cranks impacted me at the beginning and I did notice it, but it's not the end of the world. The quietness of the shifting, I tried to explain while I was actually shifting. I've done some slow-mos, I've done a whole heap of galleries and really it's the look and feel of this group set that's going to make a lot of people, you know, change their mind or decide if they're going to upgrade or, you know, um, renew or um, whatever it is that they might be doing. Okay, so that's where I am. I came down here a lot in, uh, in the lead up to September of 2022. So that's all like forgotten. So Stanwell Tops and uh, different bike and shortly uh, the disc brakes are going to get a little bit of a workout because I'm on that steep downhill at uh, down to Stanwell Park. Across the Seacliff Bridge, onwards a little bit. On my own.